When one passes by Commerce Avenue and Corporate Avenue, one wouldn't stop to think that there's an art piece hidden in the surface of Interior Life Alabang. Interior Life's headquarters used to be at the intersection of Ayala Avenue and Paseo de Rojas. A few years ago, they decided to relocate it in Alabang. At first glance, one would think that this work of art is a bunch of sculptures, but it is actually a bar relief. A bar relief is a sculpture technique wherein there are certain parts of the piece that stand out. This is known as a high relief, wherein parts of the sculpture is embossed from the surface of the background. This bar relief was made by Napoleon Abueva in the 1960s. It was originally displayed at the old Interior Life building in Makati, but was transferred to Alabang. Napoleon Abueva is also known as the father of modern Philippine sculpture. He is the youngest Filipino to become a national artist. He has won numerous awards such as first place in the sculpture category in the Art Association of the Philippines competition. This is the man behind the oblation in the University of the Philippines. He has made countless sculptures, a few of which are Three Women Sewing the First Philippine Flag, Kiss of Judas, Nine Muses, and Sunburst. Abueva comments on what makes his sculpture distinct from others, quoting, It's a simplification of the design, a direct expression of the subject matter, with the least use of unnecessary elements. I go to the basic concept of the subject matter. The bar relief doesn't focus on one event in Philippine history. Rather, it tells the tale of the nation's history. It depicts the country's past in order to understand its present. Starting from the left side of the bar relief are images of three buildings. These depict the history of the insular life. Next to it is an image representing education being brought by Spanish colonization. It was the religious congregations that established schools from the primary to the tertiary level, what was thought was mostly about Christian doctrines. The picture shows two people stripping banana leaves or abaca, which are materials used for weaving. Weaving was introduced in 200 AD and was developed in settled communities. It filled the time between planting and harvest. This next photo depicts a person making tuba. Tuba is a form of alcoholic drink made from coconut palms. It was considered profitable item of trade. These set of images portrays the legacies of the Spanish colonization. Spanish settlers and Filipinos played a variety of musical instruments such as flutes, pipes, harps, guitars, mandolins, ukuleles, violins, trumpets, and drums. They performed songs and dances to celebrate festive occasions. The rays of the sun represent provinces that were the first to revolt against the Spanish rule. These provinces are Batangas, Bulacan, Cavite, Laguna, Manila, Nueva Ecija, Pambanga, and Tarlac. The Philippine mining industry started at around 1000 BC. The metals mined were silver, iron, gold, and copper. From these materials, fine pieces of jewelry were crafted and passed down from generation to generation. Another legacy the Spanish colonization left behind is the Catholic religion. Though one of the aims of the conquest was to spread Christianization. As seen in this image, the people are carrying the Blessed Virgin Mother during a procession. This is just one way of the many religious practices done by the Catholics to honor Mother Mary. Another industry that contributes to the Philippine economy is fishing. This industry was particularly thriving for the settlements along rivers and seas. Visayans have various ways of catching fish from nets to spears. Aside from fishing, another industry that helps the economy is agriculture. 
Farming was introduced during the Neolithic period. Aside from growing rice, root crops were also abundant. This last photo depicts a ship from the galleon trade. These ships that would sail from coast to coast carrying goods from various countries were known as Manila galleons. Galleon trade is the term given to the commerce and navigation line between the Philippines and Mexico during the Spanish period. As you can see, Napoleon Abuevas Barleaf shows various scenes that depict Philippine history and culture.